guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Handsome Blader. Today, I'm going to be doing another book review because our last one blew up. And so far, as we speak, well, as I speak, basically, you guys might be talking, um, it is 103 views. Now, that's a lot for me. I might not be the biggest YouTuber, but still, it's a lot. For big YouTubers, it's not, but for a small YouTuber like me, it's really a lot. So thank you guys so much for that. And for and this one is Captain Underpants in the Sensational Sega of Sir Stinkslot. It's about like it's about Mr. Meaner in this book, and the author is Dave Pilkey, the no, same author of Dogman. So, it's about Mr. Meaner here. Mr. Meaner, George, and Harold. So, in the last book... So, now the main characters are... George Beard, Harold Hutchins, and Mr. Meaner. And also, I wouldn't say this. I honestly wouldn't. But he's literally on the front cover of the book. And he's introduced in two chapters. I don't know, like, maybe one chapter. But... Yeah, he's introduced fighting Mr. Meaner, and it is Captain Underpants. Now, he is one of my favorite characters of this whole book. My, to be like precise, my favorite character is George Beard, because he he always comes up with the great ideas. To be honest, Harold's just like saluting him basically, because in the intro it says, "We are dudes. We're cool. We're like." We're fifth graders, and Harold's always the guy who says, me too. So that's why I think that George is my favorite character. So um, the settings in this book are mostly um, are mostly the school, the treehouse, and um, old George's house. Because George and Harold, they had to travel to the past present and future so um the future they met old george and old harold their old their older selves 20 years in the future so they spent most time of introducing and stuff in old george's house so then what they do is they need grown-ups to trust because mr meaner what he did was he ate Zygo Gogo Zizzle 24. And you might be thinking, what is Zygo Gogo Zizzle 24? Well, Zygo Gogo Zizzle 24, I said that like three times now. Uh, well, it's like the substance that you can do many things. You can make a perfect salad. It can make people very, like, like their brain will work great. It can make people very smart, I mean. And there was this place called Smart Earth. And Smart Earth is, like, basically our Earth. Only the people, every single person in Smart Earth is really, really smart. So, one time, and Smart, Smart Harvard, that's, Harvard is one of the best colleges in the world. So, um, in Smart Earth, it's called Smart Harvard. So, they decided to mix something that no other person on Smart Earth has. It was a scientist and a and two students. They did, um, uh, they did, like, they mixed, um, Smart Mentos, Smart Pop Rocks, and Smart Soda together. And that exploded Smart Earth. And three places, um, three places, the, um, three Zygo Go Go Zizzle 24 landed. Um, one of those places were Earth. So it went all the way down to Earth. It crashed into, um, like this building where the teachers were being questioned. Um, I think it was to see if they were dumb or not, to see how smart they were. But yeah, so the teachers were being questioned, and while it landed, they were all looking at it. Mr. Mina was there too, and the doctor said, do not touch it, it might be poisonous. 
or something. So then what Mr. Meaner did was he was a gym teacher and mostly gym teachers eat everything according to the book. So he just, he picked it up as fast as he could and he put it in his mouth and he said, mmm, tastes like a burger. And then he, immediately it started taking over his blood cells and everything and he became super smart. So then he invented a Riddle Kid 2000 TM spray for his evil intention to make all the kids in his world his servant. So after he did all that, after he did all that, he sprayed George and Harold, and then after he sprayed George and Harold, well, it was yesterday George and Harold because normal George and Harold saved the day. So after he sprayed them though, Normal George and Harold didn't even know that they were sprayed. Just they knew something was up because yesterday George and yesterday Harold, what they did was they brought back extra homework for George and Harold. And George and Harold hate homework. So how would their yesterday selves like homework? That's weird, right? So what? So they knew something was going on until they saw the TV. Mr. Meaner was, he made a commercial of the Riddle Kid 2000, where he said that if your kid's being annoying, if your kid's being bad, if your kid's a, really a pain in the butt, then buy the Riddle Kid 2000 and spray them. They will get you an A plus in every single test. So then, after that, George and Harold saw it and they disguised up uh, they were also sick from the homework, so that's a really important part of the book. So, um, they disguised, they got went in a disguise as a grown-up. They went to their school, and they saw the teachers getting massages. Um, they saw the kids cutting their hair, shaving beards, puffing eyebrows. That's the grossest one. So then what they did was, oh, they were also uh, answering tax forms and answering bills, washing cars. One teacher even sent half her class to do her house. Like, to lawn, one was lawn, like, mowing the grass, the other was painting the house, and one more was um, watering the plants, the garden. So yeah, that's how sinister the teachers are in these books. So after that, George and Harold, they saw what happened and Harold wanted to go. But then George said he wanted to have some fun. So he gave all the kids new orders. And what happened was they, they did the orders because George and Harold were dressed up as a grown up. So they did the orders. They ruined that teacher's house. So what happened was they were mowing the garden, they were watering the house, and they were painting the lawn. And then they were filling the teacher's cars with cheese. That's, that's kind of yum, but also gross. Organic cheese. But yeah, they were filling that in. And also the teachers, what they did was, I mean, what they did to the teachers was they drew on the teachers' faces, cut really bad haircuts. One teacher even got bald. Well, she didn't get bald, but she, she went in the mirror to look if she was okay. She was like, oh, phew, I'm okay. But then actually she, she had a, she had bold right here. She was bold right there. They cut her hair right there. And they also um, cut a hole with scissors into her dress so it would only show her underwear. Thank goodness that she was wearing underwear because this book would be pretty gross if, it was, if she wasn't. Now, no need to bring that up, just saying. It's just a compliment, basically. So, um, after that, I have to say, my favorite parts were these parts right here. <laughs> this is really funny. The doctors are guarding Mr. Meaner when he ate the zy. 
this is a really funny part because when um, these doctors right here are guarding Mr. Meaner because they ate the Zygo Go Go Zizzle, because he ate the Go Zygo Go Go Zizzle 24, he gives them like, I don't know, tells them to follow his advice and to not follow his advice. So then they get confused, and then now they're the dumb ones, and the teachers are the smart ones because they're running. So that's one of my favorite parts. Okay, guys, you have to admit, this is funny. Just look at these teachers. And, well, this is funny because, literally, this is when the George gives all those orders to these kids. And look, this is a low-fat cheese, and that's where they draw... Like, seriously, it's really funny. You have to admit that. And over here, look, Mr. Meaner's even driving in a low-fat cheese car. Imagine how gross that would be. And look, this is a house right here. So, they're watering the house, mowing the lawn, and painting the garden. I mean, no. Mowing the garden and painting the lawn. Now that, you have to admit, is pretty funny. Sure. Now this is a really funny one because literally, Captain Underpants, he kicks Mr. Meaner in the tush. Now it's in a flipperama where it's called somebody's, somebody done somebody's Kong wrong. So right here, Mr. Meaner's really scared and bam. If you guys can see the animation. So yeah, boom, tush, there's the foot. And that's why I think these are my favorite parts. So, pause. So this is a really great book overall. I would recommend this, like specific Captain Underpants book, but if you, like you might not get it if you haven't read the 11th novel. So I would recommend reading like first novel, second novel, third novel, like that. But it's your choice. And I also have another video, like I mentioned in the, in the start of the video, I also had made another book review video. So if you like this one, you might as well go check that one out. It might be better, but yeah. Hopefully you guys you enjoyed and also remember I have many more videos like my gaming videos those are one of my favorite videos to make so I hope you go check those out and handsome blader out Hey parents I hope you're watching this commercial because this will help your kids Hey are your kids annoying Are they yelling screaming just fighting all the time do they refuse to eat anything but macaroni and cheese are they just annoying in your life well never mind that because the red old kid 2000 tm is here to help all you need to do is spray it once in a while 24 hours and your kid will be awesome. Turn your brat into a brown noser. The cure for childhood.